Okay guys, we're here at our local hobby store, ready to pick up our new Axial Jeep Wrangler G6. And we're gonna get that bad boy home and we're gonna do an unboxing for you. So let's go pick up that bad boy right now. Let's go. Yeah, come on guys. Is that, is that what you're going to call it? Yeah. Name? A bad boy? It's going guys. We're here at our local hobby store, Adrenaline RC mm -hmm. Hobbies, and there is our new Axial Jeep Wrangler uh, G6. So we're stu super stoked. Aren't you guys? Yeah. That was super stoked. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, let's pay for it and let's get home, huh? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, time fly with Awesome. Time to go home. Here we go. Wow. Wow, we made it home. Did we make it home, guys? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go inside and let's, let's go unbox this G6. Okay, guys. We're here at our home now. Um, you got to see our awesome way we got home. Kind of cool, right guys? Was that yeah. cool? Yeah. Cool. You can see we have the new Axial SEX10 Jeep Wrangler G6. Um, we're super excited to have it. There's going to be some parts we're going to put into this truck that we're going to keep some things that are going to kind of be stock, even though it doesn't come with any electronics. We're going to go with some stock axial parts. Um, although there's some things that we're going to throw into it that we're not, that aren't stock. But we're also, we're just going to throw some things in there to play around with it for the time being. Until we decide what we want to do with this truck fully. And we'll go from there. Um, real quick, we do have the Sidewinder 3. Uh, ESC um, this is waterproof so we're kind of stoked to have that um, so this will definitely be going into this G6 so that's gonna be cool no waterproofing needing on that um, we also were throwing in a high-tech servo this is the HS 646 WP um, it is all, wa it's waterproof, of course. Um, if I recall, it's 133 ounce torque, which the way this is going to be set up should be more than enough for this truck to start out. You know, we might look at upgrading it later, but I think this is going to work out real slick. We're also going to go with a stock axial motor, just a 27 turn brushed motor. Um, like I said, this will give us an opportunity to kind of play around with this a little bit to determine what we want to do with this truck. So, um, especially if we decide we want to go with a brushless system, we've got a system that we can go that route with in the future. We do have a couple set of LED lights that we'll be throwing in this. Um, You've got your your stock LED controllers, your four white and two red. How you guys doing? Good. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. And then we've also got a 12 LED multi-light function controller. We'll be throwing using some of these to actually throw into the light buckets up above and um, possibly adding a few extra lights on this rig. Of course, we've got our castle link, so we can program our ESC. This will be real handy. And this is actually out of uh, my Axial Wraith, the Beast, um, especially since I'm running a different uh, receiver and transmitter setup on that. So I figured, why not reuse this? 
because we're gonna we're we're going to set this up so we can run our AX3 transmitter and our AR3 uh, receiver. So this will be kind of cool, a good way to reuse some of our parts that we have already, right, guys? Yeah. Right. So that way anybody we can invite anybody along and they can have some fun with us while we're driving. And then of course, it's been. I've been trying to really decide, and I came up with, I decided we're going to go with a red and white color scheme on this Jeep. So I've got a few ideas how I'm going to go about doing it, but I think when I'm done, it's going to look pretty cool. So that's our color scheme. Awesome. Thanks, Bugs. And of course, we have a few accessories. I mean, come on. Wood Jeep's not complete with all this extra stuff, correct? Yeah. And we've got, here, we'll get that up close there so you can see. Some cool tools to throw in with it. So, now that we've gone through all that, let's get this off the table. And let's do the unboxing. And by the way, like I said, we purchased this from our local hobby store, Adrenaline RC Hobbies, right here in Logan, Utah. So they do have one in Ogden, Utah, too. And by the way, I didn't get no special deal for doing this. I'm just putting it out there because they, they're carrying this and they can get it in. If they don't have any in stock right at the moment, they'll get you it if you're looking for it, if you live in Utah. So now... On to the main attraction. Let's see, where is our main seal? Because, <clears throat> holy cow, I'm excited. Ah, there it is, right there. So, let's cut. Cut. I'm in a sight. Are you excited? I'm a oh, yeah. Mom. Okay, here we go, guys. Time to open her up. Man, I love the way this box yeah. looks. This is a cool box. Okay, well first off, there's our cool tires. Those are awesome. Those are Trepador tires. I like those. That's real nice. Okay, hang tight, hang tight, hang tight there, guys. And of course, you've got your, your foams. Hang tight, hang tight. Hang tight, one at a time, please. One at a time. Boy, the kids are obviously super excited. Hang tight, please. Okay, let's do one at a time, please. Thanks, guys. Okay. So, looks like here's several of your different bag parts. Got some gear parts, some knuckles, it looks like. Your battery tray. The other body parts in there. I see some uh, light parts, some bumper parts. Looks like some, oh cool, that's that chain steering wheel I've been hearing all about. That's kind of cool. I know, hang tight guys, hang tight. There's the axles, your rock sliders, your links. Awesome. Okay, 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 hang tight. Okay, hang tight guys. Look at this. Okay, okay, hang tight. Okay. Wow, I guess uh, the kids are going to get it all out before I can. So, we've got our rims, which those are really cool looking. You know, and I'm a, I'm the kind of person, I like sealed rims, I'm going to seal these out. Okay, leave that box there so we can put stuff back in it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in there for a minute. Okay. Hang tight, guys. Okay. This is cool. Okay. Yeah. Hang tight. So I guess as I'm talking here, I'll just throw stuff back in since my kids are super excited. There's the awesome G6 body. I like that. That is really slick. That's going to be cool. Okay. Oh, there's your frame rails. <clears throat> really cool. Ah, you got your shock weight. Your sh sorry, your shock oil. Sorry, I saw weight and shock weight just popped into my head shock oil <laughs> your battery straps there i'm the kind of person with my uh batteries 
I just use straight up Velcro. I, I put Velcro down on the battery plate and I call it good um, because that's what I run on all the batteries. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, that's your front windshield, it looks like. So you'll trim that up accordingly. Looks like uh, part of your lights. I'm guessing, yep, that's what I'm guessing those are. So you'll cut those out. Cool. Oh, wow. Now that's your bag of metal right there. That's that's everything. All your metal parts. Gears. Everything. Screws. Body pins. Looks like you got some rubber O-rings in there. Yeah, that's got everything in that bad boy. That's cool. So, let's check out these stickers here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. It's got a neat little... You got your interior stickers on that, which is pretty cool. Got your windshield stickers. Looks like rear taillight stickers. A few things we might have to trim out a little bit, especially if we're going to actually put some working lights in there, which the way I do things will definitely put some working lights and everything. One thing I've been trying to sit there and figure up with this is running an actual uh, person in the truck. I definitely, I'm the kind of person if I can with this kind of truck, I definitely want to uh, put some kind of character in there. So I've got a few How ideas. How about how old? Well, We've got a few, but I've got a new idea for a character. Um, Haven't revealed it yet. It could be a Jeep, Kato. <laughs> well, it's definitely a Jeep, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll, yeah, we'll come up with something you? with this. So. This could be cool if you like it. Well, yeah, we'll have to, we'll, you have to cut it and get it all trimmed up and get it set up yeah. so it'll... He's all for the back. Look, apparently. No, they actually go up front. I'm pretty sure about that, my dear. So, but yeah, I, I like I said, I love this sticker pack. That's really cool. It's and pretty neat the way that is. It's got I everything. Like Do you like the sticker pack? Yeah. That's Me cool. Too. So, anyways, that is the G6. Um, <gasps> yeah, it's not your typical unboxing, but you know. We're not a typical kind of family. We do things a little different, huh, guys? Yeah. So, yeah. This could be a seat. So. It can be what he on the back. There you go. Fun stuff. Yeah. So make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button if you would, please. And anything else, guys? Post your comments below. And thanks for watching Codes and Pie. And thanks yeah. for watching 